everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to a very special awakening video, guys. We are about to awaken our brand new hero, Morphier, today. And I'm crazy excited to find out what this guy is going to look like, how strong this guy is actually going to be after this awakening, guys. Because so far, he's been uh, so so not that great. That five stars, mind you. So let's go ahead, let's continue the awakening here, and let's see what he's actually going to do and how strong he can be. So, um, boom, it's Sunday today means everything is open we're gonna sweep this up really quickly so if you're excited to see what this guy's gonna look like guys drop a like uh, down below that'll help me out a lot and that'll let me know that you guys are really enjoying these awakenings all right and I should keep doing them because uh, if you're not enjoying them there's no point in me doing them anymore so you know what I'm saying anyways let's continue on here without him or anybody else being killed all right this should be bad at all here so let's go ahead let's go I'm going to use all of the newer heroes five of the newer heroes and these guys can do it anybody can do it and let's auto fight i leave no trace that's what i like to see no traces behind boom all right there he goes instantly goes to the hero with the most magic attack guys and mercs them real quick all right that's his abilities that's all he does go to the magic attackers and just kill them all all right they won't see what i've what what got them boom wow mog is insane guys mog's ability is ridiculous and so is mazir mazir ultimate i freaking love all right so here we go my daggers are thirsty yes let's give it to them real hard right here boom boom ultimate oh my god mazir you are too strong we are not worthy all right guys we've got the win there so let's go ahead and Let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead, guys. Complete this now. Let's go. Ha! Whoa! All right. So his look didn't change crazy, except his blades changed a lot. And then he's got the tribal, you know, tattoos in his face, which is pretty sick. Oh, wow. Look at that card. All right. That is pretty sick. Alright, I love that card a lot. Whoa. Damn, yo, this guy is looking sick. Just straight up beast mode. Huh. Wow. Alright, that's an actually not a crazy, crazy card. And the difference is it's not crazy either. Actually, the only difference is the tribals in his face between the two cards. But, man, this is so subtle. So look at the difference here. Now his hair is all loose and goose. And now, he's just chilling in a ponytail, because more experience means he's just so much stronger. Uh, we've unlocked ruins for him now, which is good. And let us take a look, guys, at what his ultimate ability is going to do here. I mean, his awakened ability. Static shield. When Morphir uses his touch of darkness uh, skill to dash to the enemy with the highest magic attack, he will cast a magic shield on himself that lowers incoming magic damage. Alright, guys, so when he automatically jumps to the opponent's side of the field... He will get a shield right away, which uh, is actually really sick because that shield, because a lot of times when he jumps to the opposite side, he gets killed. Blocks up to 15,000 magic damage. Received magic damage. Holy shit. So he blocks a shit ton of damage and... Wait. Oh, never mind. It blocks up to 15,000 magic damage received. Magic damage minus 52.8%. Wow. Haha! <laughs> Yo! Already at level 21, this is sick. At level 40, it's gonna be insane. Wowzers, dude. This is sick. I am loving this guy's ability here. So, uh, let's go on to the next step. Alright, guys. So, as always, let's forge his ability here. We're gonna auto-forge 50 times of the basic. Just to get a small boost. You know, for his abilities here. Nothing crazy, but it helps. Everything helps right now. So, wow, this is insane, guys. Officially, the anti-mage is that much better. I mean, this guy, his title was anti-mage as soon as he was released. But I think with this ability now, with his awakening, is just a lot better. And uh, I can't wait to use this guy in a battle and actually see what he can do. The meta right now is completely not mage, but we'll see how he does. Alright guys, so here I am in an arena battle here versus, uh, I think we're going for the second spot in the arena here. Let's see what he does. So already he jumps over, 
Magic Shield is already in place where he's not getting attacked by Magic Attack, only physical. And uh, he's already surviving a lot more than before, I think. So let's see what happens here, because he's going to get hit pretty hard here. Uh, Celeste is Magic... Uh, he's dead. Garrick got him. Yes, Garrick definitely got him. But he survived a lot more than I thought from before, so it's actually a big improvement on him. Why isn't anybody using mages anymore, man? If I see a mage, this would be so much better. But in the arena, mages are not really that relevant. Uh, Epic Arena is a different story though, guys. Ooh, Magnus, you're killing him right now. Can we still get the win? That's... Yeah, we definitely got it here. Kara. We got the win, boys. That's all that matters. Now, let's see. He died pretty quickly and actually did the third most damage. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Wow. Alright, let's go on. Alright guys, so final opinion about Morphe here, like I said before, right now, it's just a bad timing for him, I think. Uh, they, I think they just released him at a bad time where the meta game is completely run by physical heroes, so you don't really get a feel that he's really strong, but with this awakening, I actually think he's a really, really strong hero, and I think he's gonna be really good in the arena. Just countering mages, alright? That's pretty much all you're gonna need him for, countering mages. Now let's take a look at his stats, as you can see there, maxed out. Uh, maxed out village, hero village, maxed out all items enchanted, and uh, not the forge. That's obviously not maxed out as you can already see in this video, right? So he's looking at 33 plus 7, about 40,000 HP, which is pretty strong. And 4,100 plus another 3,500. Wow, that's actually a lot of physical attack, guys. His physical attack is really, really high. Lifesteal is decent. Uh, dodge, 115 is okay. So he's got some pretty cool stats, you know, but... His only problem, I think, is just dies very fast to physical heroes. Uh, I would try to not use him when you see a Garik in there, you know, as you saw. Garik killed him in one shot. He can withstand a couple of other heroes, physically-wise, but I think Garik really, really uh, hurts him badly, right? But, that'll be about it for Morphir for now, guys. I'll actually be streaming more and showing you guys a lot more fights with Morphir in the live stream, so check me out then. But for now, I'm gonna end it off here. I'll catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunters Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night! Peace out, guys!